What's up guys, it's T-Tar, and today we're going to be talking about Paradox, Raikou, and Entei. Of course, these Pokemon don't exist, but they might. This is the drawing that Heath made in his book. It was sketched by one of his team members based off the Pokemon he saw that were reminiscent of the past. Let's forget about the Violet book for this video. This is what the Suicune looked like in their imagination, and this is what it actually looks like. Clearly, they don't match up. It can't be a coincidence that Heath's team drew this picture, and it turned out to be partially a real Pokemon. Fantastical must be their own misunderstanding of their mind. The same way Heath went into trances while down there, I'm certain all of them, in an entranced moment, saw the actual waking walk and then drew a picture when they came out that they thought was made up. Two things here. One, the Pokemon is called Waking Walk. I just want to ask you guys, how? Doesn't Heat name every single Pokemon? Like Iron Treads. He describes it as having treads of iron, so that's how it got its name. Screaming Tail, he saw Jigglypuff. He described them exactly as he saw them. A Flying Salamence, he described it as Roaring Moon. Heat is the only one who named these Pokemon. How does this week one have a name? Is it possible that Heat actually saw all three of the legendary beasts back then? And just for fun, him and his team, and having seen all three of them, just drew an amalgamated form. What if the origin to this photo is not a completely made up Pokemon, but an image based off them having seen all three dinosaur forms of the beast? I've sat here and thought about it for like 20 minutes, that's the best idea I'm gonna give you. And so that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. You guys don't know this, but I don't watch any YouTube videos. So anytime I make a video like this, it's purely my own thoughts. And I know that's why you guys find it interesting to hear what I have to say, is because you'll never hear the same thoughts somewhere else. So I'm gonna show you a couple of designs and then we'll talk more. Here is Fake Em On Forever. So here's what Suicune looks like, of course, Waking Walk. Here he has designed a Paradox Entei. And you're gonna see a pattern here. So of course he designed Entei here to be exactly like Waking Walk and be this raptor on two legs. He called it Raging Blaze and made it Dragon Fire. And there's also a Paradox Raikou in the exact same fashion. Charging Storm Electric Dragon. Another reason I want these other two Pokemon to get forms is because Suicune's distribution was horrendous. They completely screwed the man making him a Terra distribution. And I think maybe the best reason they could have done it is him as a promotion for what's else in the DLCs. So what Fake One Forever has done here has made a backstory where all three legendary beasts were originally these savage dinosaurs that at some point in time turned into more serene creatures, especially Suicune. Also, at this point, maybe the Burn Tower story didn't actually happen. Maybe the three beasts just descended from dinosaur days and they themselves are the ones that died then, then just got rebirthed. Moving on to Skull Hadi, here's another take for a Paradox Entei. This one looks a lot like Tyrantrum. I don't quite think all three of them should just turn into raptors. I want them to be the dinosaur trio. I think that'd be stupidly hilarious because they're, they're nothing like the beasts we knew, but that's what's goofy about Pokemon. But I want them to be different dinosaurs. So let's move on to Arkist on Reddit. And this one is a pretty crazy take. It's so stupid, but it's so good. Here is Nimbus Neck. The man is a Brachiosaurus. What do you even call him? Bronchosaurus. Listen, this is right up Pokemon's alley. It's just, it's too good. Nimbus Neck. This is legit. And then Scorching Skull for Entei. So Sweet one's called Walking Wake because it's the only one that walks. That's the feature he described it as, Walking Wake. So there would be a different feature for the other beasts if they're real. So Nimbus Neck is exactly what should happen. He should be sitting under a tree and this giant head just pokes out. Scorching Skull, I really don't get what's going on. He freaks me out. But this has that Alolan Executor vibe. So of course the theme here is to turn the legendary beasts cursed and turn them into the dragon dinosaur trio. So let's move on to our boy, Bobby Boy. Are you ready for this? Here is rumbling ray the paradox raikou that's it that's it make all three of them cursed listen now that we've just dived a bit into this doesn't it sound right that all three of them have to get it electric dragon this mysterious creature is possibly related to the legendary pokemon raikou but also appears in the scarlet book as an ancient god of thunder you would imagine if these three had pokedex entries that would all link to that 
fused photo, saying it looks like that fused photo. Now, if you go to Pokemon's official Twitter, they describe Suicune and Verizon in an interesting way. Walking Wake resembles a sketch made by a member of the Area Zero expedition in the Scarlet Book. This makes it sound like, against my theory, that the closest resemblance that this Pokemon has is to that weird amalgamate. Since if Pokemon were to refer to something that it looks like, it would be the actual one he saw and described. But I think this is just Pokemon's Twitter playing stupid. And in the DLC, you'll learn that he actually did see it and that he named them all. Unusual storm clouds have been observed by scientists above the great crater of Paldia. Hikers and local villagers have reported hearing strange roaring sounds coming from these clouds. So he designed it based off the Amargosaurus. It looks like this. This is gold, man. I mean, I wanted a stupid design, but you made this look kind of sick. All right, let's go to the last one. Paradox Entei. He called it Feral Flare, and this is what it looks like. So we recognize this dinosaur. It's that armored dinosaur, the Triceratops. It slightly resembles the legendary Pokemon Entei, my Mary Bobby boy. The Paldia region does not have an active volcano. However, there have been recent reports of lava spots erupting in the North Province. This man escaped. <laughs> he escaped Area Zero. <laughs> Experts believe that this phenomenon could be related to a dangerous Pokemon that escaped, hey! So yeah, they've completely made the beasts look so ugly. But that's the point. And the reason I think all three of them should get it and truly could get the forms in the DLC is because this is essentially the Gen 9 version of the Galarian birds. They're expanding the universe of Pokemon. It would be the biggest missed opportunity if only Suicune got a form change. It would start to make it unorganized. I'm certain that the only reason they did such a horrible distribution is to promote for the two more that we'll find. Now, of course, for y'all playing Pokemon Violet, I'm sorry, dog. I don't know if y'all excited to see <laughs> Iron, Terrakion, and Cobalion looking the exact same, but even in that situation, I'm saying that Heat saw all three of them. Him and his team saw them all. He named them Iron Leaves, Iron Feet, Iron whatever. And then they made an amalgamation of the Paradox versions. That is the only way to explain the weird move on Pokemon's part to show this fused version in this book. Make sure you guys shank that like button and let me know your thoughts on my theory that Heat saw and named all three of them. We know the books have been tampered with in game so maybe the rest of the pages were just ripped off. The deeper we go into area zero maybe we'll see some lost pages from Heat's notes and it'll reveal to us the other paradox legendaries. Alright hope you had fun I'll see you on the next video take care.